Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Hillman here, final year medical student at Maastricht University in the Netherlands. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys an overview of the selection procedure. I previously thought that was clear enough from the website, but a lot of you have been reaching out to me asking more questions because of uncertainty. They want to know, you want to know what you can expect. That I understand because I've been in that position a few years ago. So this video is hopefully going to give you an overview of what the selection procedure entails. Disclaimer, we signed a non-disclosure for the second part of the selection. So I cannot give you details of the content of the second part of the selection, but I can give you tips and tricks on how to go about that part. So definitely stick along to the end of the video to find out more about that. Before I get into the video, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you like the videos I make. If you want to find out more content about Maastricht University studying there, definitely subscribe so you stay updated with the videos I'm going to be posting as well. I would really appreciate that and that helps the algorithm, that helps the video also reach more people who need to see this video. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first, you have to register via StudioLink. StudioLink is the portal where everyone who studies in the Netherlands, regardless of what program you do, registers. So every course you do, you have to register via StudioLink. It's a government website. When you register via StudioLink, it's important to note that you put in the right study you want to sign up for, so in this case, medicine, and you put in the right year you're starting for, so the right time of the year you're applying for. Some programs start in February, some start in September, so definitely choose right. Medicine only starts in September, so you have to pick the right option. This information is all detailed on the website, what exactly you have to pick, the Studio Link application process, so definitely check out the website for this part. After that, after you send in your application via Studio Link, it goes to the university which you apply for, and the university gets back to you as soon as possible with all the information detailing the next steps you're going to take. Again, this part is detailed on the website, so be sure to read out the website to find out more about these first steps. Studio link and how the, the university you apply for gets back to you. Now, when the university gets back to you, they tell you more information about what you need. They give you your username and password to log into your application portal. Once you get into your application portal, that's where everything else goes from. So in the application portal, you have to give them more information about yourself. There you also have to submit your portfolio and the portfolio just contains information about who you are, what extracurriculars you've done, your, your background education wise, your background extracurricular wise, and your motivation to study medicine. So these are things which form your portfolio. It's really important that you pay attention to the portfolio because the portfolio carries some weight in ultimately deciding whether or not you get accepted or invited to the second round of the selection. So the portfolio is an important part and that portfolio you have to also submit via the student portal or the application portal. In addition to that, for the first round of selection, you also have to write essays. When I applied, we did not have to write essays, but that's a new thing that has been implemented now. It's more or less something similar to scientific essays. So it tests certain parts of your knowledge and how you can gather information and summarize scientific information. And it could be different topics. Topics vary. And I don't know that much about it because I have not really written an essay myself. But a lot of you have reached out to me about help with writing essays. So if you need help with writing essays, you can definitely reach out to me and I can help you out with that as well. Those are part of the coaching services I offer. So be sure to reach out if you need help with just navigating the whole essay writing but you have to write two essays i don't know if it's always two but you definitely have to write at least one or two or more essays and once you've written the essays and your portfolio and your personal information this information all goes to the selection committee for medicine and the selection committee for medicine then decides if they want to invite you or not for the second round of the selection procedure so that is the first part of the selection procedure the portfolio personal information and the essays and then after that is done it's been decided whether or not you are invited for the second round of the selection now for the second round of the selection i also made a video about this like i said we signed a non-disclosure so i cannot give information about the content but I definitely gave tips and tricks on how to prepare yourself for the second round of the selection. I will attach the link to the video somewhere here. Be sure to check that out as well if you've already been invited for the second round of the selection. If you are curious how you can prepare for the second round of the selection, or if you just want to know what the second round of the selection entails and what how you can prepare for that, be sure to check out the video I made and find out more about that. But then the second round of the selection comes, you have to take part in that. Most of the time it happens at the university, but during COVID there was a lot of online options so i don't know if they have a hybrid system now but everything being equal it takes place at the university campus at maastricht university so once you are invited for the second round of the selection you take it computer and written based i'm not sure if that has changed but when i took it you had a computer part and another written based part and then after the second round of the selection a combination of the results of the second round of the selection and the first round so your portfolio essays and personal information those two are combined to come up with your rank number so everyone gets a rank number and somewhere in april my day was 14th of april i remember how happy i was when i got that email 
at midnight because you know exactly when the email is coming you get the email at midnight something like that and then your your rank number appears on the portal or on studying so you can see exactly what your rank number is and if your rank number falls within the amount of positions that are available within the amount of slots available so for example if there are 340 people being accepted if your number is among 340 you automatically get a spot but now that becomes tricky when you apply for the english track if you apply for the english and the dutch track that means if you apply for for example the english track and you also indicate in your application that you want to be considered for the dutch track in case your number is not high enough to fit the first 40 people for example who get accepted to the english track then you can also get considered for the dutch track and then if your number is within the 340 you get accepted anyways but if your number is within the 340 but you're not among the first 40 for the english track which for example if there are 40 spots for the english track available then you might get a spot within the 340 but your number is not high enough for the english track so you might not qualify for medicine in general but that's an that's an extra detail which is not important to know but if your number is among the 340 then you automatically get a spot unless you don't qualify because you apply for the english track and your number is not high enough for the english uh, the number of the english tracks available so that's more or less an overview of what the program looks like and once you've been accepted once you get your rank number you get an you get an you get an offer because your number is among the 340 and then you have to accept the offer or deny the offer for example i accepted i got an offer my number was 240 so it was high enough for um, medicine in general but i wasn't among the first 45 people for the english track so i could not get accepted for the english track but because i ticked the box i could also get considered for the dutch track so i was admitted to medicine but i still had to pass my dutch exam and that's how i'm studying medicine now um, so that's more or less that's been an overview of the process i hope this gives you more clarity i hope this gives you more information about what you can expect i know how daunting it is waiting and waiting and waiting and not knowing what to expect so hopefully with this video you can have a more of an overview of what to expect and that can maybe give you some peace of mind and just you know allow you enable you enjoy the process because it's, it, it's a unique process and i hope you can really enjoy this phase because once you get in you're going to forget these things and it's going to be like nothing ever happened good luck with your application procedure let me know in the comment section if you have any other questions if you need coaching if you need help with the application process definitely reach out my contact de my contact details are below give this video a thumbs up if you like the video it really helps the video reach more people who need to also watch the video subscribe if you want to find out more videos like this if you want to stay updated with more videos i'm uploading thank you for watching the video and until next time stay blessed and peace